Hello friends. It is Friday evening and I decided in this video I'm going to let off a little steam. Instead of going out and getting jacked up on the dew or something, I'm going to talk about something that's been kind of bugging me lately. And that something is the USPS, our United States Postal Service. Hey, there's a mail truck right now. I wonder if they actually delivered anything. Anyway, I've got a couple good stories. Before I start, I know there's tons of awesome people who work for the post office. It's like any other job. You get your bad apples that ruin it. Quick story, I just had a sale. Sent a book. It took like 23 days to get there. At day 21, the buyer opened a return case. I asked him to wait a little bit. The book showed up. And... He messaged me and told me it was the wrong book, wanted a refund, so I just refunded him. I know it was the right book. I'm maniacal about that kind of stuff. I sent him the book. I think he was just mad because it took so long, but whatever. All right, so I got this message today. One of my Doctor Who books sold to Memphis, Tennessee, Yvette. Listen to her message. <laughs> I'm going to read this off my eBay app here. Just wanted to let you know that the post office decided to not deliver my book. I got a notice that the delivery area was not accessible, which is a huge lie. I received mail the day they said they could not deliver my package. Trying to find an answer from my local post office called the 800 USPS line, which has proved to be futile. Imagine that. I have no idea where it is. She opens a search case. They do their thing for three or four days. Here's her next message. So I responded to that. I told her one of my fun stories. She says, yep, I blame my carriers. I've had several different ones over the last year. They're usually talking on their phones and messing around. They just don't care. My theory is, that they didn't put it in the bag, they walked to where I am, and made up a lie when they found it later. The search case has been closed, and she's right, they're just not going to deliver it. <laughs> just don't want to. She, and this lady's totally cool, Yvette Memphis, I appreciate it. She doesn't even want a refund, she knows it's not my fault, but I'm going to refund her anyway. It's not her fault either, but it's kind of irritating. I mean, no other business could they get away with doing stuff like this. You can't just tell your customers, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to do what you paid me for. And you're not going to get away with it very long, right? They're like the airlines and the cable company, right? They give us garbage service and we're still going to keep paying them. It's a shame. Last story. Some of you may have seen an incredible video that Nick Pick Thrift made. Nicole, Nikki as her posse calls her. She made me this awesome box. If you saw the video, that came out on August 23rd. She mailed it a couple days later. So August 25th or so. Tonight is September 18th. Have I received my box yet? Nope. <laughs> How many days has it been? Let's see, 30 days has it been carry one. It's been a lot of days. I'm on pins and needles, man, and I still don't have it. So check this out. She got the box back. All right, I'm in Colorado, she's in Washington. I could have strolled my pink and white body up there and been back in the time that they still haven't delivered it. Anyway, Nikki sends me a message. She shows me a picture of my address. It's completely right. I go to the post office and say, well, what's the deal? I haven't been getting my mail. And I know there's a couple other things. People have gotten it sent back to them like she did. The lady disappears behind the counter for literally 10, 15 minutes. I don't even know what she's looking at. <laughs> she comes back and tells me, she thinks that the girl working those couple weeks with the mail 
wasn't sure what she was doing so she just sent all that back to the senders what on earth possible sense does that make <laughs> i mean what kind of answer is that so then i asked her am i going to start getting my mail again she says hold on shuffles back i'm like wait 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 no don't and then she, there she goes i'm stopping in before i have to be at school this is my school right here I wait another uh, five to ten minutes and she comes out and says yeah she thinks I should be able to get it now meanwhile there's one other customer who's looking for her mattress it took, took him like 20 minutes to find a mattress finally brought it out there's a huge line forming everybody's grumbling but the best part is a FedEx guy comes with a package <laughs> he's waiting He's finally knocking on the door by the P.O. box, is trying to get somebody to answer. And people are getting irritated, man. They're getting a little snarly. So to lighten the mood a little, and because I was a little irritated, I announced to the line, hey, look, even the post office uses FedEx to get their packages. And that kind of broke the aggravation a little bit. But my goodness, it's true. <laughs> All right, so just wanted to share that. You know, Q4 is coming up and I'm excited about it, man. I think this is where my sales are gonna, are really gonna start for me. And I'm a little concerned about this. So what do I suggest for a solution? The post office needs some good old fashioned competition. Who's with me? Flippin' Eric, Derek, Gail, Nikki, I think you're the only ones who watch my channel, so <laughs> what do you say? I say the five of us, there might be somebody else in my minute. Dante, I see you in my comments, that's awesome. Let's go on Shark Tank, see if we can get Damon or Mr. Wonderful or Mark Cuban. Let's start our own post office. All right, who's with me? Maybe Flip and Eric can do it. I know you've... I know you're rolling in it, I can tell. But we need like a billionaire to back us up here. All right. So, kind of aggravating, just having some fun with this. I'm going home. Actually, I'm gonna stop by a thrift store. And then I'm going home. There's much bigger problems in the world. This isn't the hugest deal. But for resellers trying to run a business, it is a big deal. All right, so USPS, I still love you. Let's get it together. Let's get people their stuff for Christmas. All right, bye everybody. See you later.